Scientists worldwide dedicate their lives to investigate, prevent, and treat cancerous diseases. As with many areas of research, the study of cancer is increasingly interdisciplinary. As a mathematician, I work with biologists, clinicians, and computer scientists. So how can maths contribute to cancer research? Well, we know that healthy tissue may turn into a cancerous tumor as its cells develop mutations or mistakes in their DNA. My research involves creating mathematical models to track these mutations. I want to show you what I think of mathematical modeling as a sort of translation work. But before translating anything, we first need to determine which elements of our biological system we want to include in our model. In mine, I have tumor cells and their mutations. And often the best models are the simplest ones, so we continually ask ourselves questions like what's crucial and what's unnecessary. The first bit of actual translation work involves taking the chosen biological information and writing it down mathematically, using numbers, equations, diagrams, and so on. Thankfully, this is easier than it sounds. For instance, I use a 1 to represent a given tumor cell having a particular mutation, and a 0 if it doesn't. I then translate this math into a form that a computer can more easily work with. Zeros and ones are particularly easy, and diagrams are slightly trickier. After this, I play with the model on my computer, changing parameters and inputs to see what effects these produce, or doing calculations and making graphs to look for interesting patterns. The final step in mathematical modeling will be to retrace my steps to translate everything back. I'll take the computer outputs, analyze them mathematically, and then interpret this as biological information. This is particularly important because it gives my collaborators in labs and clinics access to information that they understand and can work with. Previous research has already tracked mutations in tumors of constant and increasing size. What's unique about my project is that I'm looking at fluctuating tumors, which can both grow and shrink. This is exciting because it ties to a recent cancer treatment method called adaptive therapy. This is a method where patients' treatments are tailored to their particular situation. For instance, treatment may be given in specific dosages rather than all at once, making the tumor shrink when being treated, grow when off treatment, shrink, and so on, so the tumor fluctuates in size. So far, in the first year of my research, I've been building my model and looking for patterns within its predictions. Eventually, I hope to compare my findings to clinical data from cancer patients. Understanding the mathematics behind the mutations in tumors will help us better shape treatment for cancer patients. And since millions, if not billions of people are impacted by cancer, progress in the direction of improving the lives of those diagnosed is vital. Thank you.